frequently because of the fact that there is a particular way here that is somehow complex if not properly taken care of. A student spent 1 over 5 of his allowances on books. 1 over 3 of the remainder, that word remainder, on food and kept the rest for contingencies. What fraction was kept? The question is asking that what fraction was kept? There is a way, there is a pattern we need to employ when answering this kind of question that has to do with the remainder. So in this situation, the first thing we assume here is that a student spends 1 over 5 of his allowances on books. On books. We assume that let the student's student's allowances allowances be x. That's the first assumption. Then they say a student spent one over five of his allowances on books. So the amount spent on books, spent on books, is one over five of allowance, which is one over five times often mathematics is x and uh, times they have x. So one times x, one over five x. So that this is a fraction of the allowance that is spent on books. Then the question still move further and tell us that 1 over 3 of the remainder on food. 1 over 3 of the remainder. Question is 1 over 3 of the remainder. The first thing we ask is we need to find an expression or a fraction for that remainder. Remainder, take note, remainder is usually our total minus the one that is spent on the first project, which is books. Now, what is our total? Our total is the allowances, which is what? x minus the one spent on books, which is 1 over 5x. So we take the fraction of this. We have 5 as the SCN. 1 in 5, 5. 5 times this, 5x. Minus 5 in 5, 1. 1 times 1x. 1x. So this one automatically become 4x over 5. So this is the remainder. So the one spent on food is now said the one spent on food is one over three of the remainder. So one over three of the remainder. What is the remainder? The remainder is four x over five. So it will be one over three times four x over five, which is now one four x times one four x three times five fifteen. So this is. The fraction on food. Now, the question I say, and kept the rest for contingencies. What fraction was kept? So contingencies. Contingencies. The rest. The rest stand for contingency. Now, the allowance allowances now, which is x allowances. Are, dis uh, are distributed or is distributed over books plus food plus contingencies. So the allowances is shared between these three projects. Now, in this situation, what is the allowances? is standing as X. Books. What is the fraction for books? That is 1 over 5x. Plus, what is the fraction for food? 4x over 15. Then, contingencies, that's the rest. Next. Now, the question that asks us to calculate the fraction that was kept. So, the fraction that was kept will definitely be the rest. Fraction kept is equivalent to the what the rest so what we need to do here is to make the rest the subject of the formula so if i want to make the rest the subject of the formula what i need to do is to transfer this one to this side and also transfer this one to this side that will be left with the rest so the rest which is the fraction kept fraction kept 
will now be equals to x that is here this comes here it becomes minus 1 over 5x this one comes here it becomes minus 4x over 15 so this is what we are going to have then we now simplify this what is ACM here 15 how many 1 are we going to see 15 15 15 times x 15 x minus 5 in 15 3 3 times 1x 3x minus 15 in 15 1 1 times 4x 4x so here we're going to have 15x minus 3x that is 12x 12x minus 4x that is 8x so we have 8x as if therefore the fraction that was kept will definitely be 8 over 15. So and that is the answer. Question 10. A number of pencils were shared out among BC, Shola, and Tunde. In the ratio 2, ratio 3, ratio 5, respectively. If BC got 5, how many were shared out? So, in this situation, it's also a word problem in the form of ratio. So, the first thing we do here is let the number of pencils shared out shared out b x for example and these are shared between b c where b stands for b c b c shola let's s stand for shola then tunde and let t stand for tunde in the ratio of two ratio 3 ratio 5 and another information is also given to us that if BC got 5 so BC got the fraction of BC to the number of pencils shared out is 5 so what it means is that what is the fraction of BC from this ratio the total ratio is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 5 and that is 10 so the BC's ratio will be 2 ratio 10 of the number of pencils shared out which is x and she got 5 so automatically of the mathematics become multiplication so we have 2 over 10 times x equals to 5 then we now say that 2 here 1 2 in 10 5 1 times x x then over 5 equals to 5. So we cross multiply. 1 times x, x. 5 times 5, 25. So that means the, the number of pencils shared out, which is x, is 25. So that answers the question number 10. Then the question number 11, which says that a student measures a piece of rope and found that it was 1.26 meter long if the actual length of the rope was 1.25 meter what was the percentage error in the measurement now this one is testing us on percentages it should be borne in mind that percentage error is as a formula of error over error over actual measurement or actual length times 100 percent so this formula must be recalled when necessary in that situation you now have percentage error to be error over actual measurement or actual length times 100 percent this formula is very important here because if you cannot recall this formula, it's very difficult for us to answer this question. So in this situation, the question asks us to determine the percentage error. 
If you look at the question very well, you will discover that the appearance error is equal to apparent length. That's the assumed length. Apparent length minus the actual length. That is the that is error. Apparent length minus actual length. So what is the apparent length here? That is the assumed length, which is 1.26 meters. Minus the actual length. Actual length is 1.25 meters. And that becomes 0 0.01 meters. So that means the error here is 0 0.01 meters. Now, if you go back to our formula, where we are asked to calculate the percentage error. So we have percentage error, which will now be equal to error. What is error? Error is 0 0.01 over the actual measurement. What's the actual measurement? That's 1.25 times 100%. Now, in this situation, we have all, uh, this times this. We have, then we are going to have two decimals. So we have this times this now. This one will be 0 0.01 divided by 1.25 times 100 percent so when we multiply this we are going to get 0 0.80 percent so this will give us 0 0.80 percent and this is the percentage error for the question to look at other UTNE questions that we have here we have one two three four five so in these questions that we have here, there are some involving subtraction, testing the base, there are some involving addition, then multiplication, division, another multiplication. So it is stated earlier that candidate must be able to perform basic operation involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, let's look at the commonly tested UTM questions that we have on the board. When you see J91, it means it is, uh, this is the year. It means for Jam, Jam 1991, and you have question number two. This is Jam 1998, question number one. This one is Jam 99, question number one. This one is Jam 99, question number two. And this one is also a particular year in the jam pack. So all these are UTME questions. That is why it is very pertinent to note all the important information that will be given to you here on how to solve this question within the shortest time because time is a factor. Now let's see the first question which says that if 2257 is the result of subtracting 45, 4577 from 7056 in base n. The question asks us to find the base. So what it means is that you have 5 m 7056 in base n. Then we have 4 5 7 7 in base n. N. So, and the result after the subtraction is 2 to 5, 7, also in this N. The question asks us to find in this N. In this situation, there is no other method to solve this particular problem rather than resorting to try and